Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time for another installment of my entire light bulb collection. And this time it's time to go over all the LED bulbs. Uh, we are going over normal bulbs used in normal home light thing as well as uh, LEDs used in street lights. But it's first time to go over all the bulbs that are used in houses. So first you have these interesting spots uh, with one LED and a big lens. Makes the LED look really big but I bet that it isn't that big. They are pretty heavy, I don't know uh, what, who made them, ProLight. Yeah, this is uh, not very readable, but yeah, interesting spots, pretty cool. Then we have this bulb, which, which is an RGB bulb, I think. You have to control with one of these uh, cheap things, but it, I, I don't, even, I don't even know if it still works. And this is another of those uh, color bulbs. I think this one works. We can actually test it right now. Why not? Let's test this. And it does still work. <laughs> Looks cool. It actually does change color, but somehow you can't see it on the camera. But anyway, let's continue. Here we have a very cheap IKEA LED. IKEA sells LEDs for 85 cents or something like that. Very cheap. This is one of them. Pretty standard warm white. Here we have two cold white spots from Diamant, which Diamond, basically the brand name in English. Very cheap as well. These are cold white. They do have pretty interesting uh, colored spots, but I didn't buy them. Here we have a Sylvania spot as well. This one is also called white. 865. Extra cold white. I don't know why I have it. And here we have another. This one is actually pretty cool. It's from glass instead of plastic and it does look like a halogen spot. 4 watts, it's warm white, yeah this one, these ones are pretty cool, not gonna lie. Here we have a very heavy LED I believe, I don't know why it's so heavy. Okay, this is, I think this is a special LED, but I don't know why it's so heavy and special. 9 watts, warm white, here we have one of those candle LEDs, almost knocked my camera. <laughs> Here we have one of those candle LEDs. Warm white from Flare. I think. Then we have these, like those mirrored, mirrored. Oh, wow, well, you can see me in the collection. <laughs> but yeah, those mirror uh, light bulbs, LED version. This is the LED version from Kalex, which also is a pretty popular LED brand. Here we have an American LED bulb. As you can see on the E12 instead of E14. This is also a uh, candle bulb. Five point three watts and nothing really interesting on the on the box and it's from IKEA. Here we have a Philips spot. These are pretty nice, give very nice light. Four watts, extra warm white. Fair there's nothing really special about these. Except for that these are pretty good quality. And this is a very cool bulb as you can see. It's 
like several LEDs and almost looks like uh, like a lava lamp lava but yeah with some bubbles in here <laughs> looks pretty cool pretty cool to look at and when it's turned on it's also pretty cool I think there's a video on our channel but it's not made by me but uh, the other guy that also has this bulb I think he made a video about it it's from Interlight This bulb is definitely really cool. This is uh, E14 sp Spotlight from uh, France, I think. This is a super a France supermarket. And yeah, four watts is, is most of these bulbs. It also gives a nice quality, good light. And I think this, the uh, holes in here, the ring looks pretty cool. Then we have a weird LED that I bought in Italy. I use this as a light to make the video quality a bit better. It's a uh, cold white. Yeah, it does look like a CFL, but then with LEDs. Can you see the cooling here? But yeah, it works pretty good as like a light to uh, record videos with, since it's pretty bright actually. 20 watts. Which is quite a lot. Here we have, uh, I think I have two, but I don't know where the other one is. But that's the exact same as this one. This is an, also a bulb that I bought in Italy. It's also called white. It's like a, looks like a stick. It's 12 watts, pretty bright. High tech is the brand. Very original brand name, I have to say. C27, yeah, I, I like the design of these, they <laughs> look pretty interesting. So as the last bulb we have uh, for like for houses we have the Osram. This is actually pretty interesting. These are three cold white filaments bulbs instead of warm white. You can see that these uh, filaments here are a bit more yellow than orange. So that means that it's gold white and it's also it's also on the box. Cool white. Yeah, these are pretty cool. They use six watts. Pretty energy efficient. Quite like the design of the box, even <laughs> these filaments are so extremely orange. But they are yellow. I don't know what this is used for, but this is like a little panel. Can you can also use this as a retro retrofit? Two cables to connect it, and the ballast is itself ballasted, even though it's very thin, as you can see. I quite like these panels, pretty, pretty cool. Then we then it's time for the first really like street light bulbs. This is a PLL retrofit. Um, yeah, it's professional LED lighting, as they say here. This is a 24 watt replacement. You don't need a ballast for these, but I don't really like these as well. I think they look pretty stupid. Speaking about looking pretty stupid, <laughs> here we have this very heavy retrofit, which is also for PLL from Leva Lighting. Yeah, it, this one needs a ballast, a driver I should say, and it misses one of these points here. But yeah, it looks interesting I guess, it's or it's a pretty original design, but I don't think that it works that well. Here we have a, a 36 watt replacer uh, from Salet. The uh, city here is placing these and it looks terrible. Here's the cooling and yeah, I took off the green thing here since it doesn't really fit in a lamp holder. This is what it looks like with that thing still there. Yeah, these uh, are weird. Yeah, they, uh, they do the job I guess. 
they look like PLL when they are turned on only this part makes it look very ugly here we have a 18 watt, watt low pressure sodium it will fit from Salet as well with the low pressure sodium fitting socket this thing doesn't need a ballast or driver this one just works on 230 volts and then we have this monster another retrofit from Salet with the E27 base which makes it terrible why can't they just use the normal socket for this this is a 66 watt and 90 watt replacement which uses 30 watts yeah it's just stupid that they use the E27 socket base for this and it and it doesn't even work so here we have <laughs> this is another this is a better retro, retro fit for 66 watt and 90 watts from Philips and this one uh, does does have some interesting things oh I don't know what that was this is what it looks like doesn't look like low pressure sodium at all it looks pretty terrible it does have the same socket and this is pretty cool about this bulb you can uh, switch this the uh, you can rotate the bulb with this so that's a that's a neat little thing and this one does does use a driver it's from the true force uh, series here we have the driver that it needs and I know I only said negative things about these retrofits but there's one that I'm I pretty li I like and that's this one this is a mercury vapor high pressure sodium whatever retrofit which doesn't need a ballast and it just looks really amazing pretty original design it's not one of those ugly corn lights but this one actually does look like a uh, high pressure sodium when it's in the fixture and especially the newer version of these they just look they are they just used the glass from uh, high pressure sodium and just placed leds in it so i have to give them compliments for this this is philips of course yeah these, these look pretty cool not gonna lie i quite like these it uses 27 watts and these things aren't that cheap uh, aren't that expensive as well so that's good but yeah let me know uh, if you want a video about any of these bulbs i've shown i can make that and thanks for watching see you in the next video